about six months ago, I released a video explaining why I use a wheelchair even though I can walk. A few people have seen it, and even though I thought I was pretty clear, some of you still don't understand. So today, I'm gonna show you exactly why a wheelchair is better than walking. All right, so it's no secret that I can get out of my wheelchair and walk, but don't get it twisted. Just because I can do it, doesn't mean there aren't any consequences. If I were to spend the whole day on my feet, my ankles, knees, hips, and back would be in so much pain that I would be completely useless for the next 24 hours. Oh, why did I have to walk to the store yesterday? A lot of people think because I can walk that I shouldn't use a wheelchair anymore. And while that's a great goal for some people, it's not my final destination. My main goal is independence. Everything else comes second. Independence is taking care of yourself, not just for today, but for the future. You have to make the decisions what's right for you, and no one else can make those decisions for you. A good way to think about my mobility is like characters in a video game. Choose your fighter, player one. Standy boy, pros. My house doesn't need to be modified and I have better accessibility. Cons. Must have things readily available to lean on and grab onto, like doorways, countertops, and walls. Player 2, Crushy Boy. Pros. You can get into inaccessible areas, such as bathrooms, restaurants, and stairs. Cons. It's extremely painful. My balance is terrible, and I can trip on my own feet and fall. Player 3, Really Boy. Pros. It's fast, pain-free, and I have the entire lap to carry things. Cons, limited accessibility, inclines and stairs, and I get a lot of unwanted attention. Round one, grocery store. Crutchy boy. Once I'm in the store, my first obstacle is pushing a cart. I only have one hand and my balance is terrible. With my crutch, I can grab things, but if there's anything down low, I literally have to get on my hands and knees and crawl. With the crutch, I can only carry a few things or risk losing my balance and hurting myself. I'm gonna attempt to actually pick up this very heavy bag. I'm a person who works out almost every day and I promise you this is a terrible decision. Don't try this at home kids. This is my good leg, all right. <laughs> okay, okay, I got stand. Oh yeah, this is totally manageable. This is totally sustainable. This is a great idea. This is real independent right here. This is the <laughs> This is a bad move. This is a bad move. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Forget that. No way. Can't move it. Really boy. If I'm in my wheelchair, I can always grab a basket or a cart. I can easily bend down to grab things on low shelves. And if something is high up, since I've conserved my energy, I can use my secret power-up. Standy Boy! One of my favorite things about shopping is actually not using a cart at all. I like to get one of these baskets that have a rigid, tough bottom, and I can just load all of my stuff into it. Once I've gotten all my items, I just put my bag on my lap and roll to the car. <laughs> Wheelie Boy wins this round. Round two, Nature Wall. The point of a nature walk is to <clears throat> enjoy nature. How neat is that? So even though this is quite possibly the most perfect path for wheelchairs and for crutches, I still have to stare at the ground and make sure that there's no obstacles that I'm about to trip over. I can't even stop and enjoy the actual nature walk because I'm too worried about tripping over cracks and hurting myself. Dude, come on, you're being so slow. Dude, I'm trying my best. See, when you're hanging out with your friends, Everyone's faster than you. Crutch sucks. By the way, if you have friends that treat you like that, they're not your friends. All right, so here is one of my biggest arguments and complaints about using a crutch, is stamina and pain management. I have the ability to see about 10% of things and do about 10% of things 
if I am exclusively using my crutch because I get too tired or I'm in too much pain. The second I get on my wheels, I do not have to sit down to take breaks. I do not have to have my friends wait around for me. I literally just jump on my wheels and go. Stamina, pain management, and longevity for outside activities is very important. And could you imagine hanging out with your friends at like an amusement park and having to sit on a bench every couple of minutes when you have the option of, of using a wheelchair to not have to be a burden with your friends? Like it's just not cool, not cool at all. Although I can use this, never a good option in that situation. In my wheelchair, I'm pain-free. I can enjoy the outdoors, and it's good exercise. <sighs> That's pretty neat. Hey man, you're, you're pretty quick on that thing, man. Oh yeah, my bad, I forget. I'm pretty quick on wheels sometimes. I'll slow it down a little bit for you. Final round, friend's house. All right, so I'm at my friend's house. Time to go inside. All right, so the front yard didn't work. Time to try the garage. Ah! All right, I guess we'll try the backyard. All right, it's a little curb I can get over that. Just hope there's uh, no other stairs or anything else I'm gonna run into until I get into the house. And... Oh! Hey man, what's going on? Yo, I'm here and I can't get in. Can you come out and carry me in? Yo, dude, thanks so much for coming out, man. Oh, dude, no problem. Thanks for getting me, dude. dude. Okay, cool. All right, cool, yeah, so this Hopefully you peed recently or else you might end up leaking on yourself or even worse, your friend's back. Hey man, thanks for um, grabbing me this chair. I really, really appreciate it. Could you, could you get my, my wheelchair yeah, for yeah, me? Yeah, of course, of course. I'll be right back. Thanks. Uh. Sorry. Once you're in the house, you're pretty much stuck there. So you better hope that there aren't any more stairs. And don't even get me started on bathrooms. Yeah, man, bathroom's right here. Oh, okay, man, cool. Um, let's see if I can, this works for me. Oh, no, I don't. I don't think I can shut this door. Do you, like, do you have any other bathrooms in the house? Yeah, man, we got uh, two upstairs and we got one downstairs. Oh, that might be a little bit difficult. Um, like, are there any gas stations nearby? I mean, I know you just kind of like carried me in and everything and I know it was a big pain, but like, I, I, like, I gotta. You serious, dude? Yeah, man, I gotta be able to pee. Get me like pee into like a cup in your hallway. Like, I don't think that's cool. So this situation is not a dramatization at all. This is a legitimate, actual, real life situation that I have faced multiple times before. I've got one trick to make it work and we're gonna give it a test. This also works if the doorway is too small to even fit in the first place. All right, so the trick is you put a chair in a corner where the door can open and close by it. It's just barely. So what I'll do is I'll get in and I'll transfer into the chair and push the wheelchair out. And then hopefully I have enough distance to actually transfer into the toilet. It might be a, a long transfer, but. All right, so this is definitely some advanced moves. My legs are faced this way so I could open and shut it, but I'm gonna move my legs this way. And then I'm gonna open up the lid and get my arm here. Make sure I got balance on both sides and then just transfer over. And then when I'm done, I can do the same thing. I can transfer over and get my feet back to where it was. This is not my first rodeo, as you can tell. So open up the door, grab my wheelchair, and bring it in. Transfer onto it. Not the best, but the only, literally the only option. Unless you wanna pee on the floor, or pee into a cup, or a bottle, or a bag, or anything along those lines. It's pretty terrible. Crutchy boy. <laughs> it's a good thing I got my crutch, man. It'd be such a pain to have to deal with my wheelchair in this situation. No, thank you. I am not trying to pee on people today. Uh-uh, not happening. What's hey, up, man? Hey, dude, what's going on, dude? Oh, you don't have your wheelchair? No, I decided to bring the crush today. I figured it'd be a little bit easier since, you know, your house isn't really like set up for wheelchairs. Hey, yo, yo, what's up, guys? In the beginning, I was always asking my friends to come over to my place to avoid any complications. Because I've used my wheelchair today, I can serve my energy and can easily get inside the house. All right, I'm gonna um, use the bathroom, guys. There's one right over here, yeah? Go give it a, give it a check. Whew. Yo, the best part about crutch is that I don't have to do the chair move like I showed you earlier. I can literally just go into any bathroom I want and not have to worry about if I fit. So although I really hate going upstairs and it is not optimal and it can cause a lot of pain and I can fall, the good news is at least I have that option. I can't. Check this move out. I ran out of hand railing over here. I'm gonna switch. And I'm gonna keep on moving. 
I'll show you a little pro move going down. If you're strong enough and trust yourself, you can do multiple stairs at a time. Down is much faster than up. The final round definitely goes to Crutchy Boy. Game over. So as you can tell from the final round, there are some situations where walking is better than a wheelchair. Leave me a comment down below about things that you believe are better on your feet or things that are better in your wheelchair. Even though I have the ability to walk, the wheelchair is far superior for my independence. I'm so grateful for my wheelchair. Without my wheelchair, I would be truly confined to a bed and I would be so dependent on everyone else. The wheelchair is what gave me my mobility before I was even able to walk with a crutch or even a little bit on my own. Without my wheelchair, I wouldn't be able to be free. And that's so important to me. Be sure to leave a like, and if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you wanna know even more about me and my story, there's a little link down below that's called The Untold Story. It'll get you in depth. Also, if you wanna know what's happening between me and the guy behind the camera here at Wheels to Walking, we've got a really cool uncensored podcast, also linked below on Patreon. Be sure to check it out. We'll see you next time.